In this video, I will be teaching you how to find the nth term of an arithmetic sequence and the arithmetic mean. So let's take for example, let's have this arithmetic sequence 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and so on. And this 3 is our first term. We denote it as a sub 1 in sequence. Also, the second term is a sub 2, third term is a sub 3. Fourth term is a sub 4, and the fifth term is the a sub 5. And let's say we're going to find the 8th term or the a sub 8. So, how are we going to find that? So, we just need to know the common difference. Common difference is the one that we keep on adding to, keep the, to get the sequence. So, here in this case, we add 2 to get 5, we add 2 to get 7 and so on. Or you can just subtract the second, the first term, 5 minus 3 is 2. And so, um, since 8th term is not that hard to find because it's just close to the 5th, so you can just do it manually. So we can continue 11 plus 2 is 13, 13 plus 2 is 15, and we have uh, the 8th term. So this is the 6th, 7th, and the 8th term. 15 plus 2 is 17. So that is the 8th term. And that's not hard to find. But how about this? We want to find the 100th term. And I don't think you want to do it manually. But just keep on adding 2 until the 100th term. And so the, the fastest way to, to find the 100th term is to find the general formula of an nth nth term. Or we call it a sub n. So what is the formula to find a sub n? And so let us derive it. So here's the sequence. And this is the a sub 1. We have the a sub 2, or the first, second term, third, fourth, and the fifth term. And now, um, the common recurrence of this is uh, 2. So you already know that. And we're just reviewing it here. And observe that to find the a sub 1 or the first term, we just have to copy the first term plus um, 0 times the common difference. Because we didn't add any common difference to get the first term. We just copy it. So that's the first term. For the second term, to get the second term, notice that we just add one common difference to the first term. So it's the first term, so 3, plus uh one common difference so one times the common difference which is two so that's a total of five to get the third term which is seven that is three plus twice of the common difference then you'll get seven also the fourth term which is nine that is three plus thrice of the common difference and then the fifth term is the first term three plus four times of the common difference so that's 11 so that's uh, that's how you get the, fir the first to fifth term by using the first term and the common difference now what have you observed in this uh, equations can you see a pattern observe that if this is 1 then this is 0 you just remove 1 to make it 0 if this is 2 you remove one if this is one. If you if this is three, then you're gonna remove one, it's two. If this is four, you remove one, it's three. And if this is five, this is also four by subtracting one. So what does it mean by that? So if it's n term or a sub n, then it means you just add the a sub one plus then remove one from the n times the common difference and that is the formula to find the n term of a sequence and we're going to use that to find 100 term of that given sequence so again let's have the, the equation and the sequence so this is the sequence and this is the first term second third fourth and fifth term and we want to find the 100 term and we don't want to do it manually so that's why we derive it we derive the formula to find the nth term, 
which is this. And so let us substitute since we want to find the 100 term. So we'll change the n into 100. So we have a sub 100 is equal to, so the first term is 3, and plus the n, n is 100 minus 1 times the common difference, which is 2, or the positive 2. So let us substitute. I mean, let us uh, simplify. So let's subtract 100 by 1. So this will be 99. And then multiply 99 and 2. So we have 198. Then add with 3. So the sum is 201. So that means the 100 term is 201. So even if you do it manually, uh, at some point you will get 201, which is the 100 term. So let's have another example. So we have this arithmetic sequence. And we want to find the 25th term. So because it is given that it is arithmetic sequence, there must be a common difference to this. So observe that it is decreasing, and it is decreasing by 3. So 64 minus 3 is 61, 61 minus 3 is 58, and so on. So the common difference is negative 3. That means you keep on adding negative 3 to get 61, to get 58, and so on. So let us solve for the 25th term using the formula for nth term of an arithmetic sequence. So let's substitute. We have a sub 25 is equal to, the first term is 64 plus the n is 25. Just we want to find the 25th term. Minus 1, that is constant, minus 1, times the common difference, negative 3. And so let us subtract first 25 and 1, that is 24. Then we're going to multiply 24 times negative 3. It's negative 72. Then we're going to combine 64 and negative 72. It will be negative 8. So the 25th term is negative 8. So now we're going to talk about arithmetic mean. This refers to the number or numbers in between terms of an arithmetic sequence. For example, we have this sequence, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and so on. Of course, the common difference is adding is uh, positive 2. It's adding 2. So, um, in this sequence, 5 is an arithmetic mean between 3 and 7. It's because 5 is in between 3 and 7. So, it's the arithmetic mean of, that, of those two terms. And also, 7 and 9 are arithmetic means between seven, uh, 5 and 11. Because 7 and 9 are in between 5 and 11, so that's why it is the arithmetic mean of those two terms. And we can also say 5, 7, and 9 are arithmetic means between 3 and 11. So as long as the numbers are in between the two terms of the sequence, they can be referred as arithmetic means. So let's say we want to find the arithmetic means of this sequence. 8, and then 3 arithmetic means that we're going to look for, and then 28. So 8 is the first term, or the a sub 1, and 28 is the fifth term, or the a sub 5. Now to find the arithmetic mean, we need to know the common difference, so that we, we will know what to add with 8 to get the rest of the missing numbers in the sequence. So to find the common difference, we need to use the n term of an arithmetic sequence formula, where our n, we're going to change it with 5 because we have the fifth term. Then we'll substitute a sub 5 is 28, a sub 1 is 8, and we're going to find the common difference, the d. So subtract 5 by 1, so we have 4, and copy the rest. So let's copy it first. So that we'll have more space. And then transpose the 8 to the other side to isolate the one with the variable. So we change the 8 into negative. And then 28 minus 8 is 20. Then divide both by 4. So the common difference is positive 5. That means to generate the, the sequence, we'll keep on adding 5. So that it will continue and get the answer of those empty uh, terms. So let's add 8 plus 5 is 13. 13 plus 5 is 18. 18 plus 5 is 23. 
and those are the arithmetic means. Now how about this? So we, we are tasked to fill in the missing terms. So we have these terms. So we have uh, three terms which are arithmetic means of 16 and 8 and one term that is missing before the 16 which is actually the first term. So this is our first term, the a sub 1, and this is our sixth term. Our problem is the a sub 1 is not given, so we cannot just simply use the nth term of the arithmetic sequence because it, a sub 1 must be given to find the common difference. So this is how you do it if it's like this. Because there is no a sub 1 but we have a sub 2, we will move the a sub 1 to the a sub 2. So instead of 16 as the second term, we will assume it to be the first term. So we'll change the a sub 1 to here and 16 now is our first term and we'll just assume that the sequence starts from 16. And the a6 will be now the a5 because it's now the fifth term instead of sixth. And then let's solve using the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. So I'll change n by 5. And then we're going to substitute. a sub 5 becomes 8. a sub 1 becomes 16. And so on. So we're going to solve for the common difference. So 5 minus 1 is 4. And then let's copy. And then let's transpose 16 to the other side. It will become negative 16. So 8 minus 16 is negative 8. Then divide both by 4 to get the common difference. Negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2. So to generate the sequence, you need to keep on subtracting 2 from starting from 16. So we have 16 minus 2 is 14. 14 minus 2 is 12. 12 minus 2 is 10. Now how about uh, the term before 16, which is the real first term or a sub 1? So instead of minus 2, you will do the opposite because it's the reverse direction. So instead of minus 2, we're going to add 2. 16 plus 2 is 18. So that follows the sequence. And that is how you find arithmetic means and missing terms. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button. And also, write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.